Welcome to the course on design of power electronic converters. We were discussing the module of electromagnetic interference and uh, first I gave you an introduction to electromagnetic interference, then uh, what are the standards of electromagnetic compatibility, the different types of um, your EMI and uh, further we also saw how to measure it and uh, then I also explained you what are the reasons behind uh, power electronic converters be, uh, being taken as a big source of electromagnetic interference. Now let us uh, continue with our discussion and in this lecture let us see what are the different types of noise that are present in your conducted EMI. There are two types of noise. which are mainly present in power electronic converters. One is called as the common mode noise in short it is also written as CM and another is differential mode noise. and in short it is written as dm. So, let us say there is a power electronic converter and the line and the neutral is uh, what is given to the power electronic converter or the power supply and then there is another terminal also coming out which is the ground. Now with respect to the ground, this first wire let us say is having a voltage V1 and the second wire is having the voltage V2 and further the currents that are flowing is, is I1 through the line and through the neutral or the return the current that is flowing is I2. So, your common mode voltage VCM for this two wire system is given as V1 plus V2 by 2 and the differential mode voltage VDM this is given as V1 minus V2. Similarly, your common mode current ICM that is given as I1 plus I2 and differential mode current IDM it is given as I1 minus I2 by 2. Now, these are the definitions but uh, what do we understand from this? So, differential mode voltage and currents are very easy for you to understand because that is what uh, we have been using for analysis and uh, various circuits that is what we, we deal with normally. So, that is basically the difference between the, the line and the neutral and uh, the uh, current uh, will be whatever is the current that is going to flow through the line the same will be returning back okay, through the neutral. But common mode is the voltage or the and the current which is common to both of them with respect to this common reference you can call it as the ground. So, then uh, this I1 is, is having one component to your ICM, this I2 is also having one component ICM. 
and the sum of these two is uh, your uh, these two ICMs is what is going to be coming out through these ground and your uh, this I1 has this differential mode current IDM and this is also having this one as the IDM which is going to be flowing through uh, this in the opposite direction. So, what we want to say is that this IDM is like this. it flows through the line returns to the neutral whereas your ICM this common mode current it flows through the line returns to the ground and flows to the neutral and also returns to the ground. So, common mode is that which is common to both the line and neutral with respect to your ground whereas differential mode is what is between your line and neutral. So, uh, your uh, how do you get this as I1 minus I2 by 2. So, that uh, is uh, we actually because your I1 is having two parts your ICM and IDM the sum of common mode and differential mode and I2 is the difference of the two that is ICM minus IDM. So, that is why you will be getting the differential mode current as I 1 minus I 2 by 2. Now, let us see what is this common mode and differential mode uh, how is it actually taking place inside a electronic converter. So, let us take example of buck converter. So, this is the buck converter circuit that you are familiar with and uh, then this is the reference ok. This symbol right now over here what we are showing it that it is the reference ok. Do not assume that this is earth uh, this is a reference. So, now uh, uh, this differential mode currents will be flowing that is what you are normally familiar with that this current will flow if the switch is on it will flow through this and then it will be coming back to this capacitor and uh, return from here. And uh, it, this is your uh, capacitors at the input you can call it as the input filter capacitor. So, then um, uh, that will also lead to uh, some uh, there also some currents can flow and then again these currents will be flowing and the diode will also uh, will be conducting if it is conducting in this direction the current will be flowing through this and then it will be returning like this. So, this is the normal uh, operation which you are familiar with how the currents will be flowing and because of all the different parasitics that may be present there may be noise in these uh, differential mode currents and so in the differential mode voltages and so that is your differential mode noise that will be present in the circuit. Now, let us uh, uh, come to the common mode problem how is this common mode uh, currents and voltages arising. Now, this I said is the reference. Now, there is another ground which is called as the chassis ground. This chassis is basically the one point in the metallic enclosure uh, where uh, all the other um, you can say that the reference which is uh, connected and this can be many times is connected to earth for safety. So, now you have the converter and then that is going to be kept inside an enclosure. Now, if you are finding it difficult to imagine, uh, so let us say this is your converter, your PCB of the converter and it may be having different different components uh, placed inside it and uh, further you may be having some components which may be off the board some different components of the board and this uh, whole thing can be placed inside a box or a metallic enclosure. So, then uh, over here what this uh, reference is or the ground is that is your chassis ground. So, now your this converter is, is your this circuit. And uh, this is the chassis which is uh, the ground of the, the reference of the metallic enclosure. Now, uh, 
uh, with respect to this chassis ground it, these two may be having some voltages but there may be some small voltage but that voltage may be there okay but this of course is going to be v in but uh, this other one your this other reference the, the return or the neutral what you can call it as the negative DC bus if you want to call it as that uh, may be at a little different potential than your chassis ground. So, then uh, although uh, there may not be a uh, physically a capacitor which may be connected, but as I told you difference there is potential difference between two points and uh, there are different materials present in between including air and so that will lead to some capacitance. So, there is a formation of a capacitance here similarly there may be kept formation of another capacitance here uh, between this uh, uh, the negative bus and uh, uh, this ground. And further you know that that uh, these uh, devices the switch and the diode they will be mounted to heat sinks and we have seen before that that also is a source of parasitic capacitance uh, between the device and the ground and that of course that heat sink may be connected to the JC. So, you have a path then. So, what will be happening is that these currents will be flowing like this uh, through the switch to the heat sinks and uh, then they can return to through the ground. And uh, similarly here also there may be these currents may be there which may be flowing like this through these capacitor then again here then this diode uh, the small current may be there and then they also can combine here and come back ok. So, like this these types of capacitors which are unintentionally getting formed between any point and the ground is the source of common mode noise this is the main source of common mode noise or the common mode current they lead to small common mode currents and then of course because of that because of the current you will have the common mode voltage as well. So, let us see uh, this in some other converter also. So, this is example of a flyback converter taken. So, here uh, this part is your flyback converter. So, what uh, you have here is a rectifier a simple rectifier. Now, here this listen is drawn listen is uh, we have seen before is the equipment which is used for measurement of your conducted EMI and this is somewhat like a filter circuit. So, uh, the impedance that will be seen over here at this point is 50 ohms because these probes all these are generally terminated by 50 ohms. So, uh, then uh, so this is here where your supply is coming this listen now uh, will just uh, let the supply go in and not let the noise of the supply come here or the noise of this converter go to the supply. So, then uh, this is uh, a good way to measure the noise both the differential mode and the common mode noise. Of course, the dis distinction uh, uh, between common mode and differential mode currents may not be made uh, during the testing of conducted AMI. So, then uh, uh, what you see here is that that uh, you may be um, having this kind of differential mode uh, currents that may be flowing whenever this uh, switch is turned on that means you give this kind of uh, uh, gate pulses uh, to this device it turns on and off at that time uh, this primary side voltage is equal to whatever is the DC bus voltage that is created and this is the inductance the parasitic inductance of uh, this uh, DC bus. And uh, uh, then your currents flow through it and then when your this uh, device is switched off at that time the current flows uh, through this diode. So, because of all the parasitics say you will be having this differential mode currents that will be flowing and uh, uh, then uh, you have uh, uh, here uh, these uh, listen terminals where you can put the probe and uh, you will be able to see these. Uh, corresponding voltages that will be formed because of the noise that is present. Then your common mode currents 
if we see that uh, how is the common mode current arising. So, for that we have to see what are the different points where a capacitance is getting formed between any point and the ground. So, what we observe here is that the, this point definitely will have some capacitance between uh, with respect to the ground the JC ground. In between these two uh, primary and secondary also there will be some capacitance ok, the, some parasitic capacitance and further these devices will uh, because of the heat sink will also have the parasitic capacitance with respect to the JC ground. So, now all uh, via all these then the nature of the current uh, that we observe here is that the current can flow like this from here and uh, to this and uh, then if we follow this path through these capacitances what we observe is this that there is another path and both of these are in the same direction and uh, it uh, further comes here and through this ground then it returns its uh, uh, the return path is there that means it completes its circuit through the ground. There is no uh, wire which is connecting the two but because of the ground the, the ground is common for all of them the these common mode currents can flow. So, again uh, but this also when you put the probe uh, then you will get to see the noise, but yeah as I said uh, you cannot really distinguish between common mode and differential mode by putting the probes of the spectrum analyzer because when you operate the circuit both of the noises will be present together. Then uh, um, your uh, CM and DM noise is present in all power electronic converters and in motor drives also. So, I showed you how it is present in converters, uh, then the motors that we use the electric drives uh, where you, you are having motors, they further add up uh, to some of the sources of common mode uh, noise because you may be having what might have heard about bearing currents and all that. So, that is like common mode voltage that gets formed and that affects the motor performance. So, here uh, between the motor there are uh, different uh, uh, things there which contribute to some parasitic capacitance with respect to the ground and then they further lead to this uh, common mode currents. You can see here if this is your positive bus and your negative bus and if in between you are connecting it to the ground then uh, further you will be having this path for this common mode current ICM to flow here and there this is not going to be grounded and so there will be a parasitic capacitance between this in water and the uh, JC and so there will be common mode current flowing through this further these common mode currents will be flowing through all these output wires uh, which connect to the motor and then motor itself will have several parasitic capacitances with respect to uh, the JC ground and the currents will be then the common mode currents will be then completing their path through the ground ok. And differential mode currents are of course, you are used to of it that is what it will be fl uh, flowing in one direction and then returning uh, through the other wire. So, differential mode currents will be ob obviously flowing in different parts of the circuit. So, now, uh, your this common mode noise and differential mode noise, uh, these uh, noise have different frequency range. Usually your common mode noise is uh, uh, obtained above 2 megahertz of uh, frequency, the, the, fre the component the frequency components that in which your common mode noise uh, is observed. And this common mode noise is more because of the component resonance that means the parasitic capacitances and the other parasitics that are present in the devices ok. We, we saw that your uh, MOSFETs and diodes they have got their uh, capacitances. So, and some of these capacitances are with respect to, to the ground. So, they will have their own resonance and they will be leading to the problem of common mode noise. And your PCB layout resonances because the PCB itself is a big source of parasitic and there will be resonating effect because of them as well and uh, that also lead to the problem of 
common mode noise. So, this is typically usually in this range above 2 megahertz common mode noise problem. And differential mode noise is uh, normally observed uh, below 2 megahertz uh, because of your uh, switching frequency is that are present. So, 70 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 200 kilohertz or 300 kilohertz is the range in which normally your uh, power electronic devices are presently being switched. And uh, then because of that, uh, because of the switching there will be harmonics and uh, the different differential mode noise may be uh, generated by that. Then the frequency range of those differential mode noise is generally in this below 2 megahertz region. And uh, further as you saw here that that common mode noise is mainly occurring because of the different parasitic capacitances. So, it is uh, more of a noise which is generated by the C dV by dt effect. Um, okay. So, that means dV by dt plays a very important role in common mode noise whereas differential mode noise it is the di by dt because of parasitic inductances your differential mode noise are generated more. So, di by dt effect uh, uh, more uh, significantly impacts differential mode noise and dv by dt more significantly if, uh, impacts your common mode noise. Now, these are a, a, a very uh, crude generalization. So, do not think that this is exact uh, anal I mean analytical point of view I am um, telling this, but this is in general um, you can take it. So, the key points of this lecture are the two types of noise your common mode and differential mode. And uh, the common mode is one which is uh, common to both uh, line and uh, neutral and it returns its parts to the ground differential mode whereas it is the difference between the line and the neutral. And uh, the different parasitic elements that are present in the circuit they are responsible for this common mode noise and differential mode noise problems. And uh, both of them give rise to the problem of conducted EMI and uh, so they have to be taken care of while designing the power electronic converter. Thank you.